And now that we are closing in on Christmas, it's getting a little too late, even for me, to start crafting a new project. So I thought with the last week coming up before Christmas, I would spend my time wrapping all of the gifts that we've been making and doing it in creative and beautiful ways. So for our first stop, I'm going to show you how to tie the perfect bow, one of these big floofy bows that you only see florists making. A million years ago, I worked at Michael's and this was hands down the best thing I learned while I worked there. I also learned that there are a ton of contraptions on the market to help you tie a bow and they are all unnecessary. You don't need any of them. All you need to tie this kind of a multi-loop bow is your ribbon and a piece of wire. There are lots of different types of bows. So for today, this, this multi-loop fluffy bow, that's the one we're going to be working on. And this wire, it's so thin you might not be able to see it, but uh, you can even use uh, that green floral wire or honestly, even just a twist tie from a garbage bag will work in a pinch. So what you do is you take your wire and it just needs to be long enough to go around the ribbon and twist comfortably. So let's see, mine is what, like eight inches long. So I'm just going to lay that on my work surface and it's not even going to lay flat and I don't care. Okay. So then I have my ribbon and there are a couple different ways you can do this. So for this one, let's assume that this entire bow was the same front and back. Okay. So if that was my case, then I would just go back and forth and kind of stack up loops. And after I get a couple in place, then I start making them gradually smaller and smaller. Just back and forth, looping these up. And then when I get to my last one, I'm going to make a very small loop by folding the ribbon over and tucking that end to the inside. See how that end is looped under there? And then with my wire, it just needs to go through that hole and twist that closed. And the rest is just fluffing. So you fluff and you kind of bring them out to the sides, bring them out to the sides and fluff and fluff and fluff. Now, because this ribbon is not printed on both sides, you can see a bit of a problem. See how all the loops on this side have that bright red and all the loops on this side have that faded red because this is all the wrong side. So if your ribbon is, like I said, if it's the same front and back, then this will work just fine. But if it's not, I've got a separate trick to show you. So you can see how this, since I went wide and then kind of narrowed as I came in, it has that tiered effect. If you want this kind of a big round bow, just make all of your layers the same size. As you go back and forth, just kind of stack them up and they're all the same size. And as you fluff, then you can make this kind of round shape. And so with the same technique, you can have kind of this rectangle long bow or a big circular fluffy bow. And it just depends on how long you make your layers. So now let's address these backwards sides. So let me undo and we'll start over. Okay. So once again, we'll start with our wire down first. And even though on this last one, I just kind of slid it through the hole. This is a good habit to get into because if you make big bows or swags or something that has all kinds of stuff, you can just kind of bring the ends of the wire up and around it and, and twist because not everything you make is going to have a nice little circle in the middle. So, this time we are going to take the right side of our ribbon and place it down. And then when we come over, that loop that we just made 
has the right side of the ribbon facing up. But you can see if we start going back, this loop will have the wrong side of the ribbon facing up. So to fix that, right in the center, you have to give it a twist. Kind of put your finger down on that twist so that the wrong side of the ribbon is now down. And then when you loop, the right side will be up again. So you just keep doing that twisting between each loop as you go back and forth. And this time I'm going to make my loops all the same size so you can see how that differs. You know, the last time we had kind of a long rectangle bow and this time I'm going to make that circular fluffy bow. Just twisting and loop it back. Twist again, loop it back. So every time you hit that middle section where you've got your finger holding those twists, you just give it another twist every time. When I got to the end of my ribbon, I just folded it around itself again so that the end is hiding here amongst the stack and then put my wire through. and twist it closed again. Now, how fluffy of a bow will also be determined by how much ribbon you use. So you can keep that in mind and keep that kind of to scale for the present that you will be wrapping. But as I kind of fluff these little loops out, I'm kind of pulling some to the front, some to the back. I'm doing that on both sides. Just to give it a good old flooping. And there we go. A big round bow. Now to attach this to anything, you've already got your wires in place. So even on my package, I just took the wires and wrapped it around um, the ribbon that I had taped onto my package. And that's it. You can use this style of bow anywhere. I have them all over my house for the holidays, on the tops of Christmas trees, on the bottom of garlands, down banisters. Uh, this is a very handy skill to know, even if you don't want to put this much ribbon on every one of your presents. So give me a shout in the comments if you need any help conquering this bow. Tying bows seems so intimidating, but it's really simple. I promise you can do it. I hope that you will inject a little personal creativity into your holiday celebrations this year. Subscribe to the channel for lots more great ideas and follow along on the blog, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.